In Jack, researchers report an updated meta-analysis of clinical outcomes with thrombectomy prior to primary PCI in patients with acute myocardial infarction. The analysis included more than 5,500 patients in clinical trials that randomized acute MI patients to aspiration or mechanical thrombectomy compared with conventional PCI only. Here are the outcomes. Comparing aspiration thrombectomy versus conventional PCI, major adverse cardiac events and all-cause mortality were significantly reduced with aspiration thrombectomy. TIMI blush scores and SD segment resolution were improved, but curiously not infarct size or ejection fraction. For mechanical thrombectomy versus PCI, there was no difference in the incidence of MACE, mortality, MI, large vessel revascularization, or final infarct size. The researchers' conclusion is that thrombectomy during MI by manual catheter aspiration, but not mechanically, is beneficial in reducing MACE, including mortality, compared with conventional PCI alone. But there are lingering questions. For example, why does LVEF and infarct size seem to have no bearing on outcome? An accompanying editorial points out that ischemic time may be playing a role, and every effort should be made to limit ischemic time to two and a half hours or less. Two large multicenter trials comparing aspiration thrombectomy to conventional primary PCI, both powered for clinical endpoints, are currently ongoing. Until those results are available, the current analysis supports the routine use of aspiration thrombectomy as an adjunctive therapy in SD elevation MI, and the current 2A recommendation in the ACC STEMI guidelines also appears justified. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Heart Minute.